Macca's guides. <laughs> Hey everyone, Maka here, playing Doom Eternal. This is a continuation of our 100% walkthrough for Mission 7. And as with most missions, there are three mission challenges. Killing 40 demons with the BFG. Destroying three Mancubus arms. That one's a little bit more difficult because there's only two or three Mancubus in the entire level. And then the last one, as part of our completion, we'll have to get the Slayer Gate key, which I'll obviously show. Because this is a 100% walkthrough, I'll be showing you all the collectibles like albums, toys, extra lives, etc, etc. You'll get 100% combat challenges and exploration at the end of the mission. Just work your way through the first set of hallways, and I would suggest working your way towards some weapon masteries. You'll see me do things like use my Ballista Arbalest against Kako Demons. I'll try to get double kills with some plasma rifles. I'll lock on to certain enemy types with the rocket launcher. And this uh, specific playstyle is just myself trying to get those masteries unlocked as early as possible. Work your way towards the mission objectives. You'll have to go through a little bit of a portal and kill a bunch of enemies on your way to the first collectible where I will rejoin you with commentary. After you clear out everything in this room, you'll go through one or two doors and there will be a very obvious rune directly in front of you. If you miss this one, not even a video guide could help you. So make sure we grab that one, pick one of the last two runes you need. Honestly, it doesn't matter. I've saved kind of the last two that I hate the most for last. So I'm not even gonna equip them for the rest of my playthrough, but we're gonna make sure we grab them all anyways, just in case you wanna you know, test them around or they might end up being useful in a boss battle at the end of the game or something. So there's one more rune to get, by the way, it's at the very end of uh, this mission, and then we'll have all of them. As you come into this big open area, what we want to do is push up on the ledge to the left, and you'll notice that there is an extra life 1-up floating above a large gap, so we'll grab that at the beginning of the fight. I usually grab things at the end, but for this one it was kind of just easier to grab it right away. And then a ton of enemies will spawn. We're going to be using that blood punch on the super mancubus, the cyber mancubus rather, Take out all of the enemies and I'll rejoin you back. Obviously you'll want to focus on things like weapon masteries and ammo and, and all that good stuff. You'll eventually follow your mission marker to a second open battlefield with more enemies. Just take them all out as before. At the end of this battle, one of those demon hunters, I believe they're called, will spawn. It's the guy with the sled at the bottom and the shield all over his body. I would highly suggest you save a blood punch for his sled, as it does an incredible amount of damage and can make very quick work of them. So just work your way through these enemies whatever way you like. 
uh, including that demon hunter. And then once everyone's dead here, you'll be able to exit this area. You'll notice that one of my things that I do here as well is shoot the explosive barrels. That those will generate uh, ammo for me. And I also have the ability where I don't take any damage from explosive barrels. So those two kind of work pretty well together. Once that door opens, feel free to do a quick loop for ammo and then drop down the hole. Do not jump forward and in front of you. Instead, turn around and look behind you. And behind you, you will find a Sentinel battery, which is somewhat optional, but definitely, definitely recommended if you do want that 100% by the end of it. So we're going to grab it. And then once we acquire that Sentinel battery, turn around and head back towards the mission objective, which will have us go through this door. This next jump is one of the more complicated jumps, I guess, or the more difficult jumps in the game. You just have to time it so that you dash right into the hole. Break the chain using your fist, which will bring us to the next room. In the next room, there are a ton of enemies. I'll be using my heat wave on them. And there will be a very obvious auto map directly in front of you from where we spawn. I'm going to take out those enemies first, but as soon as I do, I'm going to interact with that auto map to get that up on my menu. After the auto map, you'll notice this room has some pistons. Try to jump inside one of the pistons, it doesn't really matter which one. And then you'll have to jump across on top of another piston to get onto a balcony kind of above the area. Here we can find a Praetor suit point, but we basically have to come to this balcony in order to get mission progress anyways. So you shouldn't really miss out on this one, as long as you keep your eyes opened. Then go through the small crate, and as you come out of the vent, Look to your left hand side to find a codex page. You'll want to follow the mission marker now and just around the corner is going to be the first of what I believe is only two Mancubus on the entire level. And you're going to want to destroy both of the arms on this Mancubus to get two out of three towards our mission challenge. Then just take them out and proceed through the level for a bit. After the cutscene, you'll be rewarded with the BFG 9000, the big effin' gun. And this is an amazing weapon, but you're not trying to aim at actual enemies with it. You want the bullet to go near enemies, and all the enemies near that bullet will die. As soon as the bullet hits, it'll explode, but you'll get more kills if you let that bullet soar past the enemies. As you come out, feel free to use your BFG to kill everyone in this area. We do need 40 BFG kills. The thing I decided to do was get Arbalest kills on the Kako Demons, as I required that for my mastery. And I knew that there were a lot more opportunities later on in the mission to get BFG kills. So I only ended up with four, which is not a lot. But pick up the BFG ammo in the middle of the area before you leave. Jump through the portal or the pod or whatever it was. And now there will be a little bit of a platforming section. So just take your time. Uh, using the pellets to get across the gap into the next area. Once you reach the next area, kill all of the enemies in the first room, but do not go to the next room. So like I mentioned, I killed everyone, but I'm not going to go through the door. Instead, I'm going to go to where I entered from. And as I entered, pretend I took a right hand turn. Follow the hallway down and at the end of the hallway, you'll find a one up. Right next to that is a secret, but we can't get it until a significant amount later. So we're just going to ignore it for now and then head through that door. 
to focus on our main objective. If at any point you notice a large group of enemies and you want to get that BFG kill up, feel free to use your BFG. I, uh, I'm going to save it for a little bit later. As you enter this next area though, jump down and to the left and you'll notice a buff totem. Make sure you take it out before you try killing the enemies in the area or it's going to be very difficult. This isn't a bad location to use your BFG. I just decided to save mine for later, although it's probably be better if I used it right now as this battle is quite difficult and I believe I may have even lost a life. If you see 10 enemies in the same area, it's a safe bet to just use that BFG. Once all the enemies are taken care of, a hole in the ground will open up and we can jump through here. Now, as soon as we jump through, there is a collectible we can grab. You might want to scout out the area for ammo and armor though. As you jump down, you should notice a crack in the wall. Punch your way through it and then look down and to the right. You'll have to jump and dash into this new room. This will reveal a secret as well as find us a Praetor suit point. Just next to this, to your left, will be our first secret encounter gore nest now this can be hard if you want to use normal weapons or if you want to kind of cheese it just shoot one bfg through the hallway behind us you should kill all five enemies and do not do what i do and accidentally waste your ammo on the staircase just kill all the enemies that'll complete complete the secret encounter in that same hallway as the gore nest we can also find some ammo and some armor i'm going to pick that up before i leave if I used my ammo a little bit better, I'd still have some BFG left over, but unfortunately I don't. You can use normal guns to clear that secret gore nest, by the way. It'll probably save you more ammo for later in harder sections. But go through the hallway, and at the end of the hallway, you'll see an elevator. Go inside the elevator and let it take you up. And then once we work our way to the top, we can exit out into an office area. Do not touch the button right away. Instead, go down the hallway to the right-hand side, and at the end, you can find a secret collectible toy. This is the one we saw through the door earlier on in the mission. And then we can touch the button, trigger a cutscene. Uh, I'm gonna skip the cutscene, obviously for the purposes of the walkthrough. And the door behind us will open up. As soon as this door opens up, you should notice a rune directly in front of us. This should be your last rune of the game if you've been following along with the video guide. You should now have all nine. What does that get you? Absolutely nothing. Not even an achievement or trophy, unfortunately. But equip your last rune and then figure out the slot, you know, the systems, the slots that work for you. And uh, go across the gap and interact with the next button to start a small cutscene, firing yourself out of the cannon. As soon as you spawn after the cutscene, you'll end up in a room with like 10 enemies. Using your BFG here isn't a bad idea. There's also a little bit of a cheese I'll teach you, but basically you can use your BFG, rack up about 8 kills, and then pause your game and load last checkpoint. Shoot your BFG again for another 8 kills, and rinse and repeat until you get all 40 of your kills. This is a little bit of a cheat for some of the challenges in the game. As you enter the next room, there's a ton of stuff to grab. So first, go to the right-hand side. Watch out for the tentacles, but you should notice that there is a secret collectible cheat code here. So we'll make sure to pick that up, and then we can go back down and go back up, but enter the same room from where we were before. And instead of going up the lift directly in front of you, go across the hallway. You might need to shoot one of the tentacles for the door to open, but once you enter that door, go to the left and then go up, climb up again, climb up again, and you'll notice a Praetor suit point on this balcony. Now don't, you know, don't run away quite yet. There's a couple more things to grab. So look towards the man cannon and there's two swingable arms above it. 
You'll want to swing on the lower one, but swing back to where we came from to find a small overhang with a collectible album. This one's pretty tricky. So from that man cannon, jump backwards from where we came. Now we can go back and use the swing bars to double swing up and then into a crackable little metal piece. Inside of this room, we can find a secret with a one up. We'll end up back in this room, so it's not a huge deal if you miss it, but if you do fall, you might end up actually falling down into the next area, triggering a checkpoint. When you are ready though, jump down, and then instead of going to the right to proceed with the mission, walk on the walkway here and go to the left. You'll see an open door, and at the end of this room, you'll see a grate, punch your way through it, a teleport. We're gonna go through that teleport, end up on a balcony. And on this balcony is a second encounter gore nest. I'm gonna be using mostly my rocket, but if you have BFG ammo, it's probably not a bad idea just to use it if you wanna make it easy. This one was a little glitchy for me. I had to actually reload my last checkpoint because I couldn't get it to actually track my progress. There are a lot of little enemies, and then in terms of the bigger enemies, there is a Whiplash and a Caco Demon. There is also a Prowler. So you'll take out a ton of imps, and then those three enemies, and this one was pretty easy in my opinion. I did it with quite a few seconds left over, and once I completed it, I can take the Man Cannon out of here, which will end up on a ledge, walk forward to the end of the hall right after taking that Man Cannon, to find a secret at the end of the hallway. This is the, oh, what is that enemy called? The carcass? The, the shield tripod guy. So you'll find a toy for him, and then work your way into this vent room, jump up, and we connect back to where we were for that extra life one up just a minute ago. We can now drop back down to end up back where we were when we triggered a checkpoint from dropping down, and now we can proceed through the mission. There are a couple of enemies coming up here. I'm actually just going to skip them. I haven't been doing that too much, but these enemies were truly useless to our progression. Once you're at the bottom part here, you have to turn around to find a climbable wall, and then you'll have to double jump to a push plate right here that'll push you to our next objective. We'll then have to double jump past a rotating block, and just above us to the right, there is some armor. There are also some Caco Demons on their way, so I'm going to be using my Arbalest, as this is my weapon mastery for this weapon. And, uh, yep, just take care of them and continue your way to the next fight using the double jump pellets, or the double dash pellets. For this next fight, I would highly recommend just using a BFG pretty early on. You can grab BFG ammo on the balcony on the far end from where we entered if you don't have any, but you should still have some. I'm going to just kind of launch it in the sky. I ended up getting like 10 kills, but it also damaged the two big enemies quite severely, which was pretty advantageous. As soon as you take out all of these enemies in this area though, the garage door style door will open. That fight will also get us a weapon point to bring us to 5 out of 10. Go into the newly opened garage and just kill all of the enemies until the exit opens up, revealing a Kako Demon, and take care of them as well. I'll rejoin you with commentary in just a moment. We are now ready to exit out and there is a couple of maybe somewhat confusing jumps. What we want to do is jump to the right hand side and there's a man cannon pretty close by. This will bring us to a platform that we wouldn't otherwise be able to reach. 
From this platform, we can jump to a spire that has an extra life one up. Make sure you grab that. Now I'm gonna quickly show you where on the map I am just as a little bit of a reference point in case you got a little lost. This one's maybe a little more confusing than some of the other ones. But now you can drop down and if you look off the balcony to the right hand side, you should notice a Praetor suit point off in the distance. This will require us to do a double jump, double dash, and then another one in order to reach the top of this ledge and grab that token. So make sure you do that before moving on. If you look down and to the left, you should notice a platform with some BFG ammo sitting in the middle. So make sure you grab that BFG ammo. You'll also get attacked by an Arachnotron, which you can actually ignore if you want. I'm gonna quickly take care of it, but I actually was a little bit lost here for like half a second right after I took him out. I kind of forgot where to go, but basically you're trying to drop down uh, basically underneath yourself. This is not a platform you want to fight on, by the way. These uh, mines really damage you. So drop down, and once you drop down, there will be like 8 or 10 enemies here. Feel free to boost weapon kills on them. I'm going to go for my BFG kills, as I still needed quite a few. And I knew that the end of the mission was coming up. I still have a couple chances to go, but why not get it out of the way when we have a big group of enemies? Then we'll need to jump on these climbable walls and grab the extra life halfway through the last jump, climb up to the top, and take care of all of these enemies. There's a man cannon above us that will launch us to our mission objective. Do not take it yet. Now, instead of taking that man cannon across the huge gap, just take it, and then once you get a little bit of air, dash back above you. There is a sentinel battery on this ledge. Don't worry if you screw this up, we can jump back. This is just way faster. So I double jumped and dashed onto the balcony kind of above that man cannon to grab the sentinel battery, and now I can go all the way to my objective. If I miss that jump, you can jump back to that sentinel battery from here if you want. Once you land up here, grab the Sentinel Crystal inside of this small room. I'm going to go for the Belch Armor Boost as I found that I was requiring more and more ammo as well as more and more armor. And that just seemed like the best choice out of what I had left. You can now work your way around the corner from the outside and through the door. Once you work your way through the door, there will be a ton of little tentacle arms and enemies in this room. Take care of them, but don't do anything after everything's killed. Now that all of the enemies are dead, I'm going to show you from the entrance of the room. You're going to walk forward and keep to the left, and you'll see a small little station here. Click the yellow button, and it'll push a glass wall backwards. And once you do that, it'll reveal a new platform for you to jump on. Jump on the platform, and then jump up and to the left through the vent in order to find a secret here. This secret is another album, so we're actually pretty close to getting all the albums in the game soon. Then you'll turn around and jump the other way from that ledge in order to find another secret area. And here you can find the Slayer Gate key. Pick it up and then drop down and go to your left to find the actual Slayer Gate. Feel free to open up your map if you got a little bit lost. But in slot, you know, put the key in the gate as always and then do the actual Slayer Gate. This one, in my opinion, was actually somewhat easy and didn't require too much skill but there is everyone's least favorite enemy type the marauder and there's also a new enemy type that's like kind of a, a priest of some sort they seem to be on an infinite respawn so you can kind of just ignore them for a bit unless you need armor or ammo and what you really want to focus on mostly is the marauder using that ballista the rockets and any other thing you can 
I've actually also noticed that when he swings at you, you can sometimes get two hits in him with the super shotgun before he's able to start defending himself again, which makes the fight last a lot less time. Otherwise, just stay alive, and once the Marauder goes down, it'll start another wave of enemies. Here, if you have the BFG ammo, I would highly suggest using it. Again, shoot it kind of through the area to kill as many people as possible. I end up shooting my BFG and pretty much not hitting anyone. I uh, actually did pretty okay there. I think I shot another one later on in this um, Slayer Gate that didn't really kill too many people. But once we're done, you know the drill. With the Slayer Gate done, we'll be rewarded with the three points and the Empyrean Key directly in front of us. For some reason, I spawned right into the Empyrean Key, so you don't see me pick it up. But please don't forget that. We need it, and this is not the one you want to forget. Now we can make our way back towards that uh, office where we click the button, walk past it, and then towards the mission objective. And we'll have to drop down a small hole in order to proceed with the mission. As you drop down, you should notice a malleable wall, so make sure you go through it. This will reveal us a kind of secret side room with a teleport thingy, push pad. So push off of that, end up in a secret room here, and feel free to work on your weapon kills like me. But once you reach the secret, it is the toy for the pinky. Now we can drop back down that hole and continue towards our mission objective. The Doom Slayer. His power is built. As soon as we spawn out of that cutscene, our three last collectibles for this mission are pretty much right in front of us. Drop down the ledge and look to the right to find the Sentinel Battery. Drop down one more ledge and continue looking to the right to find the Codex Page Entry. Then what we can do is walk forward to the next area and look to the left and you should be able to find a Praetor Suit Point. Do not stop watching the video now that we have 100%. There are a few more key notes I really should make, including some extra lives that we can grab. As you enter the next area, there will also be your second Mancubus. We've had to wait all mission long just to see it. You'll want to take off both of its arms in order to work towards that mission challenge. We should now have all of the mission challenges done. You may still require a couple of BFG kills, so if you have that BFG ammo, use it now. There's also one more BFG bullet coming up just after this fight, so you still have time even if you don't have it yet, don't worry. You'll have to take care of all of the enemies and ignore getting random invites from people you've never played with to play Apex. Then what we can do is take care of all of the enemies to open up the door. There will be a Demon Hunter, so I would highly suggest keeping a uh, blood punch ready for when they spawn and take care of them as quickly as possible.
With all of the enemies now pretty much taken care of, we'll try to grab the extra life 1-up that kind of uh, floats above the middle of the area. To do this from the entrance, go to the right hand side and use the swing bar to double jump into it. And now we can walk forward through that gate we just opened. Just after the gate, we'll find another bullet for the BFG. So if you need those BFG kills, use it. I don't need them, so I'll be using my Arbalest on these Kako Demons in order to work on my Weapon Mastery. Then I'll just fire off a BFG just for the fun of it. And you can pretty much ignore the rest of the enemies in this area. Just work your way to the very end where the portal is. Go up a little bit of a push pad and then jump into the portal to end the mission. And you should have everything completed. You'll have 10 out of 10 in the top right corner for combat, 3 out of 3 for the mission challenges, and hopefully if you follow it along perfectly, you'll have 20 out of 20 for the exploration. Feel free to use fast travel if you don't before ending the mission, just to be on the safe side. And for this mission, we actually end the mission and go straight into mission 8, so there will be no Fortress of Doom for now. Additionally, Mission 8 is also a very short mission, which is good because these videos are taking me literally forever. If you'd like to show your appreciation for how much work goes into these videos, drop a like, share the video with a friend. Special thanks to everyone on Patreon for supporting the show. Shout out to Double O, and I'll see you soon. Peace.